I'm Nick Alive with Citrus TV, and I have a very special guest with me, Chris McCullough, former Syracuse basketball forward and PBA Cup champion in the Philippines with San Miguel Beerman. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. What's up? Nothing much. So, obviously, we're in a bit of a state of craziness with this whole coronavirus. So, while you're in quarantine, what are you doing to stay fit? What workouts do you have? What are you really doing? Um... Yeah, since all the gyms been closed, I've just been doing home workouts. Um, I got I use a lot of bands. Uh, I run stairs. I mean, I might run a mile or two. That, that's about it. Just, just trying to stay fit as possible. Mm-hmm. Are you working out with anybody, or is it all stuff by yourself? Uh, everything by myself. By yourself. Okay. So I want to start at the beginning of your career. Obviously, you're from the Bronx, and throughout high school, although you didn't go to school. In New York, you uh, were a five star, and you had lots of offers from schools all around the country. So, why did you choose to go to Syracuse? Um, I, I always loved Syracuse. I, I love Coach Bayham. I always wanted to play in the two three zone, playing in the Carrier Dome with, with thirty thousand fans watching. That that was a big thing, and I, I really didn't want to leave New York, but I felt like St. John's was too small of a school for me, so I wanted to go to Syracuse. What, were there any other schools that you possibly considered other than Syracuse before you made your decision? Um, yeah. um, I, I was looking at Kansas, um, Florida State, uh, what else? Uh, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so those are, those are big powerhouse schools, definitely. Uh, mm-hmm. So you get to Syracuse, and I want to talk about on the court and basketball after this, but first... Do you have any memories of just being a student off the court, just being a student at Syracuse, and any good memories, people you met? Um, yeah, yeah. I, def- I met a lot of people. I-, I knew a lot of people because I-, I was taking business up there when I was in high school. So I knew seniors, I knew juniors already before I got there. But just memories as a student, just, I don't know, I mean, interacting with everybody, going to different parties, you know what I mean? Just being myself off the court. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Now going on the court, uh, obviously – You had a tough injury in January when you tore your ACL. You were having a great season. But what? how did Syracuse really prepare you for the pro level, being under such a great coach as Jim Beheim and having great teammates around you? Um, Just just coming coming in every day, preparing yourself. You know, mentally, you you got to come two hours before practice, get your extra work in. You got to stay after practice, get your extra work in. Uh, you know, what I mean, just doing extra workouts, always on top of your your schoolwork, things like that. So I mean, it prepared me to, to be to be a better a better man, and it, it took me from a boy to a man leaving college. Was there anything you would have changed, looking back now? Nah, not at all. You get drafted in the first round, and you are very not many people can say they were a first round NBA draft pick. So, congrats to you. And you get drafted by the Brooklyn Nets, and you play for the Wizards, and then you go overseas for a little bit. I want to ask you, is there a difference between the NBA and then uh, leagues such as the CBA and PBA that you've noticed? Anything you liked or disliked? Yeah, yeah, NBA and PBA, China, everything is different. Um, I went to China. The, the thing I really didn't like is, is that you, the, the big men only play two quarters. You're only allowed to play the second and third quarter. So, so in China, in China, you can't have two Americans on the floor at the same time. Only in the second and third quarter. That's what it was. That's the only thing I really didn't like. Really? Do you know why that is? Or um, I, honestly, I don't know why. That, that's their rule. You know what I mean? You just go out there. You got to play basketball. You got to actually score a lot of buckets in, in them two quarters you played. So. Did you enjoy playing overseas with the few teams you played for? Yeah, I, I've been blessed with that. I've been on teams and been in different countries. That, that I actually like because I'm it's some places that I know I got I got friends who don't like where they at so I just been blessed with it. Mm-hmm. And obviously, uh, last summer you guys won the PBA Cup championship. What was that experience like? Um, it, it was fun, definitely. I, I I got there I think seven games into the season, but you know I, I got there. They took me in with open arms. I had fun. Um, I enjoyed the Philippines. I love the I love the weather. I love the country. No, everything was good out there. Mm-hmm. One last thing I want to ask you. I like asking a lot of uh, basketball players this especially. Who's the toughest player you've had to guard? Um, for me, what was put? No, I never really guarded him for. I got him like one play. Paul George for me, my, my rookie year. Mm-hmm. Paul George was the, was the toughest player I, I had to guard my rookie year. I'm going to say that. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you're looking forward to in your future, basketball-wise? Anything you're excited for? Any possible plans? 
Um, I was excited to go back to the PBA, but now I don't know what's going on since the coronavirus started. So I, I just got to wait and see, see what's going on. But, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get back to the NBA where I belong, and I'm just going to take my time with it. Of course. So thank you again very much for doing this. Again, I'm Nick Salai with Citrus TV Sports, here with Chris McCullough, former Syracuse forward. Chris, thank you for so much for your time. Thank you.